I say we get right to it and meet our next single. This one is close to my heart. Take a look. I'm Ramona Singer, and I'm from the Real Housewives of New York City, and now I'm trying Love Connection. People tell me I'm known for being fun, unfiltered, and I say it like it is. You can't even have a conversation. What is wrong with you? You can dish it out, but you can't take it. Being a TV celebrity is almost like a double-edged sword. Some people are really into it. Some people really are not. It makes it even a little more difficult to find the right guy. I don't know if I've been picking the wrong guys. I meet a lot of men, but I haven't really met like the right one yet. So this opportunity came, and I adore Andy. So I said, hey, life is an adventure, and you never know where it's going to lead to. OK, that's right. It's Ramona Singer from The Real Housewives of New York. Finally, there is Rich, a former sportscaster who's been through the dating ringer. But how will he handle the singer stinger? I started out in my professional career, and in 15 years, I was a sportscaster. I was married for about seven years, and I've been single now for about 15. I've started a new career. Now I can open up the other next layer of my life and take off and have some fun. OK, it's time for our studio audience to get involved. Which of the three guys do you think made a love connection with Ramona on their date? Mark, Kenneth, or Rich? Make your choice now. All right, guys, time is up. Let's remind you who she went out with next. Retired sportscaster Rich. Let's bring him out. Hey, Rich, how you doing? I am fantastic. I could not be better. Andy, nice to meet you. Ramona, you look spectacular. Great to see you again. I mean, I don't want to bring up a sore topic, but there is something. Don't up. say that. No, I no, know no. you're going to say. Do you know what I'm going to yes, say? Yes, you're going to say. Kind of reminds me of your ex-husband. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. Is that, that. a bad thing or a good thing, Andy? <laughs> no, it's a good thing. The guy He's was. He's very much. He was. A, he is a handsome guy. <laughs> All right. All right. Take that as a okay. good sign. So, uh, Rich, what was your first impression of the Ramona coaster? I had a great first impression. I open up the door and I see this gorgeous woman sitting there in this beautiful dress. I was like, wow. This is going just the way I wanted to. Wow. It was a fantastic start. And I just thought to myself, all right, down boy, relax for a second. OK, we asked you to score each other based on your first impressions of each other's looks. Here's how Rich scored Ramona. Wow! <laughs> Here's how Ramona scored Rich. <laughs> nice. Yes. Wow. So what do you see when you see him? I'm like, oh my god, he's movie star, actor, handsome. Nice. So he just like hit it off immediately. Because you know what we have in common? His love for his children and my love for Avery. And that, to me, is very important. I need a man that loves his kids, because I love my daughter like anything. Andy, let me tell you something. Here's what was great. And, and this is, the, to me, the funniest part of the whole date. So I said, so tell me about yourself, Ramona, because I don't know anything about Ramona. And she says, well, I'm a mother, I'm a homemaker, I'm a da, I'm a da, I'm a da. I'm like, wow, I don't even know what she does for a living. You didn't mention it at all on your date? You didn't say, I'm on this show? Because I, really? like, I don't do that with anybody that wow. I meet that I like. I don't tell them. Wow. So I want them to like me for me. Uh -oh. So it worked. It worked. If he binge watches the show now, are you kind of freaked out by what he might see? <laughs> I don't think any man that I am involved with should watch the show. <laughs> you know what? All right, I'll take that. I agree. <laughs> don't watch the show. Uh, so uh, you took a selfie video on the date. Let's see. You know, it's funny. She's so beautiful that sometimes that can be almost a distraction, but she's easy to talk to, and she smiles, and she's engaging, and uh, and we, we have a lot in common, so it's, it's made things very easy. Wow, very good. So you ordered dinner. I, he actually ordered dinner, because I'm trying to learn to give up control. 
right? That's my new thing. I have, Andy, I have. That is ridiculous. Andy, you You're one of the most controlling no, people I'm I know. I'm different, I'm different. <laughs> it's Ramona Renaissance. Okay. <laughs> so he said, well, would, you like to, would you like to order? Do you like sushi? I said, yes. I said, why don't you order for us? Okay. And he ordered, you ordered for us, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. See? And you're obviously feeling Ramona. Well, that's an interesting way to put it, Andy, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, how did the night end? Was there a kiss on this date? Uh... <laughs> it's my job to defer to the late. Because... I love it, gentlemen. I know what happened. Oh, you do, do I you? do. I think you kissed and you told them we're not talking about the kiss on TV. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> oh, I feel this. All right, Rich, goodbye for now. I hope to see you in a minute. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, Ramona, it is the moment of truth. Remember, this is Love Connection. We don't let fate decide. We let a date decide. It's time for you to tell us who you had the best love connection with. So who's it going to be, Mark, Kenneth, or Rich? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to Love Connection. I am here with Real Housewife of New York City, Ramona Singer. She's been on three dates this week. She has chosen one lucky guy to take on another romantic date. I'm getting emotional. Oh. Because I feel like we might have made a love connection here. Okay, so your choice is right behind that bridge. Okay, Ramona, let's reveal your choice. I couldn't be better. Wow, nice couldn't to be see better. you. Wow, he's got big hands, Ramona. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. This is long overdue. <laughs> wow. Ramona, I mean, I mean, I feel like you could maybe see yourself with him. I don't know. Time will tell. <laughs> That's why we're here. I know. Well, Ramona isn't the only one who made a choice tonight. Our studio audience also chose who they thought would be the best love connection for her. And we're about to find out who they picked. Let's see who the audience chose. You and the audience both chose Rich. Right. Uh, you're going home $10,000 richer, which is what we do on the show. Right. We made a connection. Right. Well, you know what, Andy? I appreciate that, but um, I'm so happy. I'm in a great place in my life financially. And there's a charity that I hold really dear to my heart because I was a victim of it, domestic abuse against women and children. So I would really love to donate that money to that cause, to the Joyful Heart Foundation. Great. Well, that's very nice. It's very generous of you. Yes. We will happily donate that money. And I really think this could be good. You never know how you're going to meet someone in life. Like, I want to say to everyone, you got to step out of your comfort zone because you never know how you're going to meet someone and just let it happen. As we know. say on this show, one day can change your life, Ramona, right? There you go. Yes. 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 One day can change your life. You got it. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Enjoy your Thank second day. Thank you very much. Bye, Ramona. Bye, I love you. I love I'll you. see you. See you in New York. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. There they go. That's it for tonight, everybody. I'm Andy Cohen. We'll see you next time. After the show, Ramona had to fly straight back to New York, and she and Richard started dating. 
He is a really charming company. He's really easy to be with. I think there is a connection. I see it in her eyes and I feel like she sees it in mine. But whatever she saw in Richard's eyes didn't stop her from dumping him a few weeks later. She still credits the show with teaching her to date outside her social circle. If Richard lived in my 15 minute radius, I'd probably be dating him. But apparently they still need to live on the Upper East Side. Let's face it, he's GU. Geographically undesirable.